in 1975, a team of Canadian scientists investigating the biological implications of single living conducted experiments with laboratory rats. They were dressed in tight-fitting double-knit polyester suits and forced to listen to disco music at high volume. The other rats, each coupled with a mate of the opposite sex, were kept in laboratory conditions simulating marriage. Is single living a viable alternative in a couple society? Mom's gonna be home any minute. Chicken, come on! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, uh, Mom. Hi, uh, this is Rhonda. Rhonda, this is Mom. If you want to do that with Rhonda, you will have to wait until you're older and the two of you are married. Do you understand, Alan? I understand. What are you doing here? Just a checkup. At a gynecologist's office. It's a, a second opinion. Do you have a fire escape? What are you doing here? My mother lives in this building. She really does. I'm not lying. Wait a minute. Maria. Maria, just a second. Maria, hold up. Uh, so, this is your apartment? No, this is my car. I keep my apartment in a safe deposit box downtown. <laughs> <laughs> All I want is to see my only daughter married. The story of your escape from the sanitarium is probably quite interesting. But look at what you've done. You have attacked my gynecologist. Old manner speaking, eh? You've looked at my address in the phone book and ambushed me on the street. Now, wouldn't it just be easier if you just asked me out on a date? Have you got to dinner with me tonight? Not if the fate of mankind hung in the balance. Was that a yes or a no? Maria says that marriage is not for her. When you finally give up on Maria, you give me a call and we'll get drunk together. Helen, I can't go to bed with you. Why? Because you're short and you're weird. Who told you? <laughs> When you're looking for love, you find yourself doing some very funny things. When you're 